So genetic explanations of schizophrenia. So we're looking at whether that is a biological explanation for the development of schizophrenia and whether that can be inherited via genes. So one way we can study it is by family studies. So researchers look at the um, whether biological relatives are more likely to be affected by schizophrenia than non-relatives. Now, research has found that concordance rates is higher for children that have two schizophrenic parents. So concordance rates was 46%. When a, schiz a child had one schizophrenic parent, it dropped to 13%. And when a child had siblings with schizophrenia, the concordance rate was 9%. So this appears that there is a genetic link. And the more relatives that you have with schizophrenia, the more likely you are going to be affected with schizophrenia too. So that applies that there is uh, an inherited link and you are more likely to develop it if you have family history of having schizophrenia. Now, another way in which you could study it is through twin studies. Now, a higher concordance rates for MZ twins, so monozygotic twins, which are identical twins, would suggest there is a genetic link. So Joseph found in his meta-analysis that concordance rates for MZ twins was 40.4% and DZ twins was only 7.4%. So this suggests that there is a genetic factor because concordance rates is higher for twins that share um, the same genetic makeup, the same um, DNA, whereas it was only 7.4% for those that share 50% of their genetic makeup. So this implies that there is a genetic link. Now, one way in which we could um, rule out nature and nurture is through adoption studies. Now, if adopted children with schizophrenic biological mothers are more likely to have schizophrenic, schizophrenia themselves then it suggests that it is genetic so it was found that 6.7 percent of adopted children whose biological mothers had schizophrenia also received the diagnosis of schizophrenia compared to only two percent in the control group so i.e two percent um, of adopted children developed schizophrenia when their biological mother didn't have schizophrenia so this would imply that even with the removal of environmental factors of being raised in a family with a schizophrenic individual, that there is a genetic link because um, those who had a biological mother were more likely to, to develop schizophrenia than those that didn't have a biological mother with schizophrenia. Okay, so if we were to look at an example question, Louise came from a family with a history of schizophrenia as both her grandfather and aunt have been diagnosed with the disorders. Louise's father has recently died from cancer and she has just moved out of a family home to start university. Although she's always been healthy in the past, she has just begun to experience symptoms of schizophrenia such as delusions and hallucinations. Using your knowledge of schizophrenia, explain why Louise is now showing symptoms of schizophrenia. So the fact that there is a family history of schizophrenia, so both her grandfather and aunt have been diagnosed, would imply that she is biologically vulnerable to develop schizophrenia. So research has shown that when you have um, family members with schizophrenia, concordance rates is higher, so you're more likely to develop schizophrenia yourself. Now this question is also making reference to there being an environmental trigger. So this would link to the diathesis stress model. So the idea that Louise is biologically vulnerable, she is predisposed to develop schizophrenia, so she might have this gene that is more likely to happen. But it will only happen if there is a trigger, there's some stressful event that has happened. So the fact that her father has recently died and she is moving out of home could be that this is the trigger for her to now develop schizophrenia. So this is why she is now showing schizophrenic symptoms when she didn't in the past. So if we were to look at some AO3 then. So other factors have shown that... Um, schizophrenia runs in families because of common um, child rearing patterns so it might not be down to genetics it could be that it is down to family um, dysfunctions such as double bind and expressed emotion so that could be why it appears to run in families rather than it being a genetic factor 
Equally, there's issues surrounding the testability of um, schizophrenia with twin studies. So MZ twins are more likely to be treated similarly because um, they have that shared environment, they are identical, so therefore it could be environmental factors that are leading to this high concordance rates rather than it simply being um, genetics. Equally, none of the concordance rates are 100%. So this would indicate that it isn't solely genetic, there has to be some other factors that are playing a role in the development of schizophrenia. So if we were to look at a 16 marker then, discuss one or more biological explanation of schizophrenia. So you could go down the route of just talking about genetics for 16 marks, or you could go down the route of talking about it with alongside another biological explanation. So you could talk about the dopamine hypothesis or neural correlates as well if you wanted to. So remember, you still need two AO1 paragraphs regardless of which route you go down and three to four evaluation points. So I would probably do two different explanations, do one um, AO1 paragraph on genetics, what that implies and then evaluate it for two evaluation points then move on to my second explanation for one AO1 paragraph and then evaluate it 